Lucy. David again. It's final update time. Haven't done one for quite a while. Thought it was about time. I've got a small little stack here to get through. So let's go for it. First up though, I'll start off with a couple of CDs. Actually the first one is one that I, I got off iTunes. And it's a band that uh, my good buddy Grino uh, informed me about. A Swedish band called Heavy Tiger. A three-piece female outfit from Sweden and they're an excellent band. Their new record is called Saigon Kiss. If you like uh, Joan Jett or The Runaways or any bluesy power rock music, uh, this is definitely up your alley. So go check out Heavy Tiger. They're awesome. Next is a CD that I bought having watched a documentary called 20 Feet From Stardom. If you haven't seen this documentary, it's really cool. Uh, it basically tells the story of a large selection of backup singers through the 50s and 60s and 70s uh, who were this close to getting record deals and breaking out as solo artists in their own right, but for whatever reason didn't get the chance to. Uh, excellent documentary. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. Uh, one CD that I bought was from an artist called Claudia Lanier, and she released her only solo record in 1973 called Few and this is the CD version which had never been available on CD I think until after the documentary came out Claudia was a member of Ike and Tina Turner's Ikeettes and she's got a great voice it's kind of a little bit husky and really nice sounding uh, when she really pushes it uh, but really smooth um, and one thing that's interesting about this album when it was recorded was that the side A was actually produced by one producer and the side B was produced by someone completely different. So to listen to it from top to bottom, you get about halfway through the, the CD or the album, um, getting used to the, the feel of it. It has a real sort of old school Rolling Stones uh, rock and rollish kind of feel to it. You get halfway through from song, from song 5 to 10 it just switches into this um, early 70s funk record that um, each song is actually um, stitched together so there's no actual breaks in between each song, it just sort of flows which is really really a great thing to listen to um, cool album, if you haven't heard it go check out Claudia Lanier uh, for you train spotters out there Claudia actually uh, dated Mick Jagger from the Stones for a short time and it's reported that she was actually the inspiration behind uh, the Rolling Stones song Brown Sugar. So there's a little bit of extra um, background info for you. Claudia Lanier, Few. I've got to send out a big thank you uh, for the next three records that I'm going to show. The thank you is going out to the one and only Prince, the VC, Carsten Olsen. Hey Carsten, uh, I was among the winners of his 250 subs contest a little while ago now and he sent me a, a $50 Amazon gift card so Carsten thank you thank you very much again for uh, the great contest and for the for the wonderful prize uh, so these these next three records are ones that I bought uh, with your gift card Carsten so thank you very much Black Joe Lewis and the Honey Bears uh, Black Joe Lewis is an awesome uh, blues guitarist, blues artist, he plays this music, it's all very contemporary and very modern production, uses modern production and, and all that, uh, but definitely has an old, old school sort of feel about it. He's got a, a large horn section that plays with him and the combination of the electric blues with the horn section is just great. This was their very first EP. I have a record of Black Joe Lewis, he's now referred to just as Black Joe Lewis, um, but when he first came out, uh, he was referred to as Black Joe Lewis and the Honey Bears. This is great, my only um, criticism of this is that it's too short, um, it's a four song EP, and really great listen, but again, when you're just about getting into it, it's it's over. Here's a funky label for you. So if you're into the blues, but you like your blues with a twist, 
check this out. Awesome. Speaking of artists that perhaps didn't get a chance to get signed, here's, here's one that uh, actually Dan Fury, Mr. Vital Fury, uh, showed in one of his updates. And with any of his updates, I, I take notes and pay attention. Uh, this group was unfortunately never signed, and it's a damn shame because they're unreal. Uh, the band straight out of Detroit called Death. I mean, with a, a band name called Death, it's how cool is that anyway? Death were a three piece straight out of Detroit made up of three brothers, and they were actually signed to Columbia. Um, and basically given, given funding to record this album. They got about seven songs the way through. They recorded seven of the 12 songs that they wanted to record. And the record company came to them and said, listen, before we release you guys, you're gonna to have to change the name of your band. To which the brothers said, no, we're not. So all the funding and the support from the record company was pulled. And this, unfortunately, with the exception, I think maybe of or 500 copies that the boys actually sold themselves independently. Um, this sat on the shelves until 2009. Um, it's called For the Whole World to See. Uh, if anybody hasn't heard of these guys before or haven't heard uh, any of their songs before, uh, definitely go check out a few of them like uh, Where Do We Go From Here, uh, Freaking Out, and uh, Let the World Turn. These guys are sort of uh, famously referred to as the band that uh, were punk before punk existed. Uh, there's actually a documentary on them, um, which I think is called B Before There Was Punk, there was, a net, there was a band named Death. I haven't seen it yet, but I want to see it. you got to listen to this. This is a, it's a damn shame this band didn't get signed because they were ahead of their time. So definitely check this one out. Rush. Clockwork Angels. It's the newest one from Canadian Trio Rush. I love these guys. Again, this is a this is a this is a record that uh, will show off your sound system to its maximum potential. Um, and fantastically arranged songs, so well written, so well recorded so clear and so fantastic, it's, it's rushed. I mean, they spend their time and their money making sure that these things sound unreal. Um, and this is no exception. Songs like Caravan and Clockwork Angels and Carnies and uh, Headlong Flight. Go check that song out. It's rushed, come on. Okay, I told you it was gonna be short, but short ones are sweet. Alicia Keys. The Element of Freedom. This is a, a limited special edition vinyl version of Alicia's fourth record. You all know how much I love this girl. Um, this is one of her strong, strongest records. I mean, all of her records are strong in my opinion. Uh, this has definitely got a lot of um, almost 80s synthy influences and a lot of pop influences throughout, uh, but definitely Alicia's piano playing and voice are the star attractions of, of any of her records. Uh, this one's pressed really, really nicely, sounds fantastic, very clean, very clear, has really great uh, um, inner sleeves, and it's a two, two LP set, about 100, it feels doesn't quite feel like 180, but it's pretty close. Uh, on this nice um, pale violety pink sort of colour. Thanks again to Carsten for the excellent contest VCLT. Uh, these records have been spinning a lot, um, so I really appreciate it. Thank you, Carsten. Thanks for checking another uh, vinyl update out. It's always fun doing these things. Uh, thanks for checking it out. Hope everybody's weekend's been rolling along nicely. Um, take care, everybody, and we'll see you soon.